Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video, no Super League. Um, I want to make this video because of what's happened in the past few days, uh, the likes of, you know, um, players start speaking out now, uh, Joseph Mourinho being sacked and probably rumoured that he weren't happy with the Super League going ahead. Um, so I want to talk about all that stuff, so guys let's get straight down to this video. So, Guys, you know what to do because there's a big front front that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. Right, um, as you probably all know, I don't really subscribe, uh, upload to this channel anymore, but which will be down in the description below. But anyway, let's get on what I want to talk about. Um, right, Marcus Rashford has spoken out. Bruno Fernandes has spoken out. And I know a few other players have. Um, and a lot of us are not happy about the Super League. Um, I've heard one or two, maybe not even two, uh, supporters saying they want this to go ahead. I don't know why, but I, I, can, I can't speak on their half of it, but I haven't got my opinion. And also, you can put your opinions down in the comments below. Um, but it baffles me. It really does baffle me that the fact of I'm past angry, um, apparently the deal has already been signed uh, this Saturday just gone before anyone knew about it um, the Premier League got, got to try their best to stop it and so are the 14 clubs in the Premier League um, but we need this football structure um, really badly if we don't have just the structure in the footballing world what do we have I mean I miss even during this pandemic Waking up in the morning, match day, great. I'm gonna, you know, have fun, watch game of football, cheer my team. Um, and to be honest, it looks like that could all be gone, which is a sad thing. So I was looking forward, you know, maybe one day taking my kids to football. May not even happen now. Um, but we have got to remember that. What we're doing is okay. What I saw the leagues and the Liverpool game last night and the fans chanting outside Ellen Road. Um, we need to do, in my opinion, I think we need to do more. Um, if it comes to it, when we're allowed back into the stadium, which hopefully the rain map will um, be coming out, you know, we should be allowed to the last two games, at least 10,000. Um, no, should be allowed in. Um, I think it's 10,000 anyway. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's 10,000. You have got to... Just go out to the... You know, if you're a Man City fan, buy a ticket, don't go in. You know, don't support the club. Actually, don't even buy a ticket. Just go out there, stand outside the stadium, chant about this, chant you're not happy. I know we can't take out on the players or the management because apparently they knew nothing about it. But we have, in some way, put them in there because, okay, as I said, Marcus Rashford took to Twitter, Bruno Fernandes has spoken on Instagram, and a few other players have as well. But we need this backing of the play. The players need to walk out, in my opinion. I know I can't ask them to do that, but. You're contracted, you still get your pay. You will still get your pay because it's in the contract law, oh, I think, anyway. But, yeah, again, don't quote me on that. But we have got to keep doing what we're doing. It might even be tough at times, um, you know, to keep the football pyramid alive. What gets me with Liverpool and United in particular is the Busby Babes and... Um, you know what happened to them that happened after i think it's a european cup game um and i think the hills but disaster god bless their souls for the busby babes and the people who lost their lives at hillsborough um died in the fa cup semi-final um you know under extreme circumstances extreme circumstances that should never have happened um, but, you know, we have got to think of them, um, as well as ourselves, 
while we're going through this, while we're trying to stop it. Um, but, you know, apparently Jason Marino got sacked because he refused to take players out training over the Super League. Um, yeah, again, you have got to praise him for that. That is true. I hope it is true. Um, I can't see why sacking him six days after up to a cup final. I can't see it. Uh, yet again, we got a big pro well, good chance to get another protest going at the cup final, um, which is this weekend. Yet again, don't go in, don't buy tickets. I probably won't even watch it if I'm being honest with you. As I said, it's why I stopped doing football videos because I stopped enjoying it. Um, and if I don't enjoy, if I don't enjoy it, it makes it less enjoyable for you guys. So I know the lights. I can see where the fans are coming from now i'm still with you by the way but i can see where the fans are coming from you know the fans are looking oh yeah you know it's good for the club it's good okay so you want arsenal who plays europa league to basically go and play the likes of Real madrid they don't deserve to that's why the whole football pyramid is what it is um, top four go into the Champions League. Top, I think it's the top uh, seven of the Premier League goes into the Europa League. Uh, 57 goes into the Europa League. That's the benefit. Now, I will not be happy if this goes ahead. And, you know, I don't see the likes of West Ham in the Champions League. Leicester City in the Champions League. As I said, if this goes ahead, and this is why we must not let it go ahead, no matter how, you know, much we're going to stick together through this. I've already said on social media, I'll say it again now, because I didn't actually put on my social media links. I'll be happy to stand with any one of you that's trying to stop this process going through. I'll be happy to do it. Because I've been watching football ever since I can remember. Now that's going back to, you know, May United, 99 Champions League Cup Final, and uh, yeah, Champions League Final against Bayern Munich. Great occasion for English football, great comeback by United. Mark Goldbridge, who's obviously United stands, uh, you know, um, one of their guys, um, Leader, that's the word I was trying to think of. You know, he leads the United stands in some way. He's already stated they want Leeds to win this weekend. Leeds United and Man United have got one of the biggest rivalries in English football, as far as I'm concerned. And he wants them to win. He don't recognise United anymore. I don't recognise football anymore. Okay, I do like the AR, but yet again, I know some of you don't, but that's not, there's nothing to do with the AR. This is something to do with... I know people that suffer with mental health in this pandemic. I know people that want to get back to the ground just to go watch a game of football. But if they take the top... Now, Jamie Carragher said on Sky Sports last night, if they take the top six, what's the point? What's the point of having Premier League, Championship, League 1, League 2? So all it's going to do is rotate. Now I know the likes of West Ham and you know could finish in the top four. And good luck to West Ham for doing that. But what's the point of finishing in the top four? Okay, it might be another Champions League, uh, you know, competitions or any. But it's not going to be the same because a load of Americans. I call them Americans because there's actually about three Americans in this. Um, shareholders I think uh, bought these football cars and create franchises I know Stan Kroenke is one of them who owns the Rams um, now I know that the fact of he owns that is he's puts more money into them apparently than Arsenal I know that due to you know Arsenal fan TV but no one in the right frame of mind wants this if you want to play european football i dream right now this could really dash my dream 
I dream of seeing my local club play your know, uh, European football one day. Who, if you I don't know, is Brighton. I'm a big Brighton fan. Born down here, raised down here, been to the Wolf Ding countless times. Got my dad to sit in the rain, just to go watch him play. I absolutely dream of, you know, actually seeing them play the likes of Real Madrid and, um, you know, Juventus and all these big clubs one day. But we can't do it if the Super Cup goes ahead. So, yeah, you get to pick another five teams who qualify. So, how are you going to do that? Five clubs qualify, right? Now, let's put this globally, because that's what it is. You got La Liga, Premier League, Serie A. French were nothing to do with it, and all the Germans, so that's Bundesliga and Liga 1 out. Um, but you've got all these big clubs. I really don't see a way out if this goes ahead. I can actually see the sport actually dying. I never thought I would actually say the wrong words in my lifetime. As I said, I dream of taking my kids there one day, hopefully. But actually waking up on a Saturday... You know, three o'clock kickoff, having a beer, having a laugh, having a sing song, having, you know, the band up between each each fans. Actually, seeing that dying actually brings a tear to my eye. I seriously don't know what to think of. If the sport dies, what happens to the, all these people that suffer with the mental health? I never spoke about that. You know publicly but the second one I think it was I struggled and you know I really do want this sport to live on the FA the Premier League everyone has asked for our support so as long as they want me or you guys to keep publishing videos, I would do it. Because this is not about me. This is not about even the supporters that are going through it. This is about future generations of coming into a family, supporting their local club and taking them to go watch their team. And to actually think that's going to be dashed, I'm not going to stand for it. As I said, I'll, the FA want, want us to keep supporting them. I'll keep doing these videos. As I said, I barely, barely, rarely, you know, talk about football anymore because I've like not enjoyed it. But even though I don't enjoy being at home, that's what I don't enjoy. You know, I still love going to matches. I still support my, my club, but. We must do this for future generations. This 300 million, whatever it is, now all the money in the football pyramid runs down to grassroots. There's no grassroots level, as far as I know, in this. And for people at the top going, yeah, it changed football, people finding it boring, you kill it. Because Look at the Premier League. Who knows the way this work out? You know, maybe one support, maybe one team per year will make. But you've been playing the likes of United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, clubs like that, and we don't want to play them. If the players want to make a stance if the manager wants to go through with it right for me the managers need to step down from the players need to stop you know going training um but obviously i can't tell them to do that I'm, that's just my opinion the best way i can think possible at this present in time it just gets me to the core that they want to rip the heart out of football now, 
I think it was Mark Bojnich, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, that the fact of in Australia, which is where he lives, they do leagues, but there's no relegation format. I can't deal with that because it'd just be the same thing over and over and over again. To me, you know what? The, to me, this is what it sounds like, right? Liverpool, nowhere near the top four in the Premier League. Well, they are, but you know, very likely uh, less likely to qualify for it. West Ham could qualify for the top four. They don't want that top six to change. Well, sorry. Super League, it's already changed, you're way too late for that. But if this goes ahead, I believe that football will die. Um, no one will enjoy it anymore. I hate to think what, what it will do to people's mental health. Um, and that's a big factor to plan this. As I said, I know people that suffer with mental health problems, especially during this pandemic. Um, I just hate to think what this is going to do to our communities. I mean, I know, I know fans from who support nearly every club in the Premier League, and yet we have a bit of banter. And but it'd be no banter because all the rivalries. I mean, one of the challenges that face Brighton and Palace, now, you, if you don't know rivalry, then you don't know, but, you know, we've always had this banter between us that Palace got promoted seven years, you know, and Will Fessar spoke about it um, in the media, you know, you, we've been waiting for Brighton for seven years or something like that. To actually think that be gone, that would be a sad day because I can't, as I said, I, I really can't see fans turning up. But that's one of the banners we have between us and Pat, um, Brighton and Palace fans. You know, <laughs> it's funny how something like this actually changes my way of thinking, may do you as well, but to actually never think that there will be a football game going ahead. Um, it really does, you know, sound a bit a bit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end. As I said, as long as the FA need our support, as long as the Premier League need our support, and all these big football governing bodies, I will keep on uploading videos like this. Um, but, Anyway guys, as I said, I'm going to bring this video to an end, so guys, you know what to do, so a big one for what you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thank you for watching, cheer up now.